So let me introduce you to the five pillars of SEO methodology that I developed over the years since starting my own search engine optimization business. So basically, if you go to Google, you type in a search term, in this case, search engine optimization training, Google will put this search term through its algorithm. Um, which consists of about 200 to 250 main ranking signals and potentially thousands of sub ranking signals that take many, many, many things into consideration before Google will actually show you organic search listings, right? Each and every one of these ranking signals you can place onto one of five pillars. Let's take a look at each and every one of these five pillars and we'll, in greater detail, take a look at all of these five pillars throughout the training. First of all, the technical health of a website. Extremely important. Think about it this way. Um, my girlfriend and I, we hiked quite a few, what it's called 14ers here in Colorado, mountains of uh, 14,000 feet or higher. If I'm not healthy on the inside, just not gonna happen. Sometimes we were hiking for like 16 hours a day. I could have all the gear, everything, all that stuff, cool, you know, the food and everything. If I'm not healthy on the inside, it's not gonna happen. The same thing applies to your website. If your website potentially has spam on the inside, you will get penalized by Google. All right, let's talk about the pillar number two the functionality of your website or also known as the user experience. Um, if your website doesn't function in a way in that it is easy for people to find what they're looking for, they can consume pages, jump from one page to another page that makes sense, you will actually get downgraded. And Google made it very clear if you know, your visitor doesn't have a great user experience, you may get downgraded in Google search. Pillar number three, on-page search engine optimization. Starts with keyword research. Then, you know, how are you gonna optimize each and every page's meta tags? How are things hyperlinked on your uh, web pages? That's called on-page SEO, basically anything that you can physically manipulate on your website. Pillar number four, off-page SEO, and I'm very passionate about off-page SEO. It's basically anything that happens outside of your website that tells Google that your website is relevant for those search terms and you can do a lot with off-page SEO. So I hope I'm getting you a little bit excited about uh, what's possible uh, outside of your website. Then, you know, love it or hate it, but social media marketing simply has to be part of your SEO strategy. And I'll, you know, tell you more later on in this training. But basically Google is striking deals with the Twitters out there, the LinkedIn's, etc. So as soon as you tweet a link to a blog, you bet uh, it will be indexed in Google's database. Then of course, there is no SEO without content or content marketing. So that truly is the foundation of these five pillars. And uh, here's the link the link to an article that I wrote about this methodology, but don't fear, we'll cover each and every pillar in great detail. So as you can tell, I'm not a graphic artist. Uh, I created this house of SEO. <laughs> Essentially, the roof consists of your project templates, a strategy that you're gonna develop to, uh, that you're gonna execute, and audit and measure the success of your efforts. Then in the house, we have several rooms. Those are basically the five pillars of SEO, where we're also gonna use tools to uh, you know, keep those rooms clean, etc. And then of course, the foundation, as I just showed, content marketing. So essentially, this could be your SEO strategy or it should be your SEO strategy. So think about it this way. There are so many ingredients needed to be successful with SEO. It's sort of like cooking a great meal. 
I'm, I'm, I love cooking. I'm not the best cook, but um, you know, if I have the right ingredients, I'm somewhat able to create a decent meal. It's the same thing with SEO. If you get all the ingredients right, it's simply it's going to be a good meal. Um, if you get all those ingredients right, um, you'll also build what it's called your digital marketing credit score. If you're watching this training from the US, you're probably familiar with the FICO credit score, where you know if you have a high credit score, it's going to be less expensive for you to borrow money. If you have a low credit score, you know, you're not as trustworthy and you'll probably spend more money on borrowing money. It's the same thing with your digital marketing credit score. If you can prove to Google that you're worth it to be listed up there, it will be easier for you in the long term to get those page number one rankings and to actually stay up there. I hope that makes sense. This page, uh, I included this to uh, show you about the, the main search engine ranking factors. It's a, a study provided by Moss, which we're going to also take a closer look at uh, throughout this training. Uh, I recommend that you take a look at the study and just take a look at some of the major search engine ranking factors. Um, this was compiled back in 2015. All right, so search engine optimization, you know, it's not a one person effort. In some cases or in many cases, you are actually that team. Here are the resources that are needed to be successful with this whole SEO thing. You need an SEO manager who develops the strategy, who manages the team, drives the process, analyzes data, etc., etc. You also need a content creator or creators who develop blog posts, long form articles, case studies, web page content, etc. You will need a social media expert or a social media community manager. They draft and publish social media content that's actually optimized for search that will support your SEO strategy that potentially manages the community, reaches out or responds to uh, customer inquiries via Twitter, etc. Google pays very close attention to that. And last but not least, I am not super technical, so I hire I hire the webmaster, web designer that helps with my website. So this is basically the team that is required to be very successful when it comes to search engine optimization.